hello everyone my name is veer and in this video we are going to see how we can add uh, code files to your uh, repository that has been cloned from uh, azure repos and we'll try to push that code changes into uh, azure repo back okay so what we'll do we'll go to the folder okay and we'll add some code files over here we'll commit those files we'll create a, a, a We'll push that code changes onto Azure repo. We'll see how we can do that. So for that, what I'll do, I'll just go to uh, IntelliJ. I'll click on open. Okay. And we have to traverse do, to this particular path. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this path. I'll go over here. And I'll hit enter. Okay. So that I can navigate to that particular folder sorry i think the path is wrong that has been selected so let me go again uh, that is f colon azure repo hello world okay and I'll click on open so what i'll do i'll just open this particular project into a new window <clears throat> now what what i'll do i'll add to this folder what i'll add is a framework support for maven okay so that it will it will basically create you a, a structure a code structure for you okay if you can see it has created a full structure folder structure for you okay let's wait for some time so that you know it it will you know add all the dependencies required and everything okay so what we'll do we'll create one java class file over here and we'll add some code so basically hello world code and we'll try to push it to azure repo so this is the class so what i'll do i'll just add those things that simple class public class hello world public static void main and i'm printing hello world uh, for my intellij i have not set it up the sdk i'll set up that as well okay well, let's try whether we are uh, running whether we are able to run the program successfully or not if you can see over here uh, the output is displayed so that means our code is running properly so what i'll do i'll we'll, now we'll commit those changes and we'll push it to our azure repository so for that what you have to do you have to just right click on this project you will see option over here saying git then there is an option for commit directory okay now you can it will you know give you a commit message whatever you wanted to add so maybe i'll add uh, saying that add it hello world class file to the project okay and i'll click on commit so it will commit two files one pom.xml and hello world file okay now the these code changes are done locally now we want it to move it to azure repo so for that again you can just go to the git then repository and click click on push okay so it will tell you what files that are going to be pushed to your repository okay so i'll just click on push Okay, it will take some time to you know push the changes onto your Azure repository, and you will get a successful message that the push has been happened successfully. Okay, now we'll go to our Azure repository and let's see whether those changes are reflected onto our Azure repos or not. So okay, so if you can see, uh, this was the initial state. 
of our repository now I'll just refresh this page see now if you can see that pom.xml is there also the src main java where we have added this hello world this has been present and if you wanted to see the commit history see uh, last commit that we have added is added hello world class file to the project so we are successfully able to push the code changes onto azure repo so that's it for this video guys thank you thanks a lot for watching